I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. How to install brushes in Photoshop. Select the brush from the toolbar, go to the brush property, and while in the brush property, you go to this setting and import brush. In this video, we are going to be covering three essential steps. First, I'll show you how to install brush by going to the folder where you save your brush to load it. The second step is I'll show you a one click approach to color grade your image. And the final step, I'll show you a method of image storytelling by bringing the focus of this image to the model. That is taking the viewer's eye directly to the model. After loading your brush, you can see the brush will appear right here in your brush folder. Then you click on the image to apply the brush. You can see the color of the brush is brown dark. And that is simply because the foreground is currently brown dark. The foreground of the brush is brown dark and that is not the color of the cloud. The color of the cloud is relatively white. So you make sure you toggle your brush and make sure the foreground is white. And at that point you can apply. You can see I created a layer, an empty layer for this brush so that we can adjust opacity and fill later without affecting the general image. Now you apply the brush, you see it's now white and looking more realistic. But we delete this brush and use another brush to start the whole process. This time you have to take note of something. The pattern of a realistic cloud is not the same. Therefore, we use different brushes in this brush pack to apply at different sizes and shape so that we get a more realistic result. So go on, pick random shapes, adjust to random sizes and apply. After this stage, we'll go to the next stage, which is the one click color grading approach. So stick around and get the most out of this video. The password to the brush will appear right on the video. Create a max, a layer max. Make sure you are using a soft crown brush and the foreground should be black because you are going to be maxing out the brush from where it should not apply. That is the cloud. Should not apply on the landscape, but only in the sky. So you max this out. You can download the image from link in the description to follow along. Create a stamp visible layer with Shift, Control, Alternate E on PC. Convert to Smart Object. Go to your camera, raw filter, where we'll be applying this one click approach. Go down here, load settings. Now use your preset and apply one click. To take the image from looking normal, boring to this amazing grid. One click grid. Check the link in the description for that also. Adjust opacity to taste. Before and after. Already looking amazing, right? This is one of 10 special presets I use on my images. There are 10 vibrant color presets. Link in the description. The final stage is to bring attention to the model. So take your elliptical marking tool and create this round shape around the model. Create a curve adjustment. Why on the curve, you take it down like this to darken the image and control I to invert the marks. At this point, you go to the properties and make sure you are on the layer marks to bring out the layer marks property. And then you 
adjust the filtering value like this. Adjust the filtering value, even out the transition from the dark to the bright area and make it look natural and make it look like there's a spotlight on the model. This will take the viewer's eye directly to the model. This is a very powerful technique you can use on your other images. Take note of this and let's take a general look at the overall before and after. Hold Alt and click on the background layer to review the before. Click again to review the after. This is amazing, right? If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Like and share. Leave your feedback in the comment section. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing video.